the video that you're about to watch now is a fantastic guide about the current meta in Dota. But before we jump into that, I just want to give you a quick look at GameLeap. You see here their fantastic website. GameLeap is dedicated to help you improve your skills as a Dota 2 player with a fantastic plethora of courses and videos by some of the best players in the world. You can quickly select whichever hero you like, find the course, and then you'll find a whole plethora of videos there that will give you everything you need to help you take off and play incredibly well. And you know you're in good hands when you've got pro players like Huntler and Banana Slammer Jammer. There's a supportive community and forums here, and it's uh, just a really great website that I really recommend you all try out and sign up for. Anyway, without further ado, please enjoy the video. this is Sovereign and this is going to be the guide on what heroes to pick in the new meta and with all the new patch changes running around and everyone picking interesting heroes that have been changed and all the new items this guide will hopefully show you what heroes can be safe picks and generally just good go-to heroes to pick with all the early game fighting and the developing meta right now. With 6.86 coming out now and the meta is shifting just like it does with every other patch, people aren't really sure what's good and what isn't yet. And with that comes kind of always section in the meta where there's a lot of chaos and nobody really knows what's good and people are just kind of picking whatever they feel like and seeing if it works. And generally with that kind of style of play, there comes a lot of early game aggression. So if you want to keep up with that aggression, you're going to have to pick tanky heroes who can fight early and aren't afraid to just five man and just constantly take fights because there's going to be a lot of aggression because people aren't really sure what's good yet so naturally they're just going to try to just group up and be aggressive because that's pretty much the simplest strat to execute is just five man group up it doesn't really require a lot of coordination like trying to split push or farming does you can just five man and group up and people are going to try that because it's a new meta they don't really know what's good and that's pretty much the simplest strat to execute so basically when the meta is kind of really aggressive like this and there's going to be a lot of early game fighting you need to pick a tanky hero to keep up with these early game fights because you pick someone really squishy and you just get blown up all the time by these early game five mans and you can't deal with it then you're going to have a bad time so basically whenever the meta comes out like this just always pick a tanky hero who can deal with aggression and can five man early those are the best heroes to pick when a patch first comes out and no one really knows what meta is good yet so a few examples of heroes like this are heroes like tiny Bristleback, Gyrocopter, even Ember Spirit can fight pretty early. Uh, pretty much just pick early game fighters who can just fight constantly. Don't really rely on low cooldowns because there's going to be a lot of aggression. So like Gyrocopter, his spells are pretty low cooldown, very high damage. Pretty good early game fighter. He can be independent when he needs to. Scales pretty well into the late game. Bristleback's just an all-around tanky hero who just stays alive and does damage the longer he's alive. So other than these heroes, there are a few other heroes that have been getting picked quite a lot actually. Uh, Invoker has been getting picked a lot in this meta. I'm not sure if it's just trends or if he's a strong hero. I suppose when the meta evolves we'll find out, but he's definitely an option right now. AA has been getting picked quite a lot because the early game five mans are pretty vulnerable to Ice Blast and he can just kind of farm well on the other side of the map and it contribute with Ice Blast. So other good heroes by lane in this meta. For offlane, Beastmaster is still pretty strong. Batrider with his the new buff to his regen, he might come back into the meta. Nyx Assassin is always an option. The new Doom rework is kind of odd. I'm not sure if that hero is going to be any good anymore, but he might be okay depending on how the meta evolves. Sardar is still as good as option as ever. He's tanky, he's really good at early game fights, he synergizes really well with physical damage, and the nerf this patch wasn't really that big. He's still strong.
Timbersaw has been getting picked a lot more with the early game fighting meta and a lot of tanky strength heroes. Timbersaw is generally really good against those, so he's definitely an option. For mids right now, Invoker, that's a hero who hasn't been meta for a really long time. Invoker with the breeze of buffs to invoke and his in game now, he's been getting picked a lot more. I'd say he's probably one of the most popular mids in high MMR now is Invoker. He's pretty much in almost every other game. He was meta a really long time ago, and after a few nerfs, he pretty much kind of completely fell out of favor until recently. He's been getting picked a lot more. Tiny still gets picked as a mid. He's just good tanky early game fights. Ember Spirit gets picked occasionally. Windrunner still gets picked occasionally. Queen of Pain, although she got nerfed, she still potentially has strong impact in fights. Like she's just gonna be consistently strong pretty much always. For carries, Slark is generally a pretty good go-to pick when the meta is really kind of not formed just because Slark is really good in games where people aren't really coordinated, which is usually what happens in the when a new meta comes out is people don't really, not everyone is set on the same game plan yet. And Slark is really good at exploiting that. Although he's pretty vulnerable to five mans, he's still really good at exploiting those. I've been experimenting with Terror Blade a lot. Now he's pretty good in early game fights with Reflections. Sunder makes him pretty hard to kill. His high armor is really good. He does a lot of damage. Gyrocopter is still the same early game fighting AOE magical damage monster he was before. Again, Tiny, he's just good. He functions as both a mid or a carry. For supports, AA is really good at combating five mans with Ice Blast. Shadow Demon is decent, especially with an increase in people picking Omni Knight in pubs. Now that I've seen, Shadow Demon is pretty good. Shadow Shaman is pretty good at early game five mans. I mean, even the other kind of unconventional supports, like support Night Stalker or something, that might come into play later on. That's always pretty good. So, as always, with an early game fighting meta, there's a lot of early game fighting. And to do well in these, you need to be able to fight on demand, basically. So you don't want to pick long cooldown heroes at the start of the meta. For example, you don't you don't want to pick Tidehunter because you have to be able to fight on demand whenever you need to. And in this meta, there's not enough space to play around the Ravage cooldown. The enemy's just going to take fights when you don't have it. You have to pick low cooldown heroes who can fight constantly. So heroes like Tidehunter, heroes like Warlock, these heroes you can't fight that often. You have to fight around your ultimate cooldown. And especially with this meta, with all the early game aggression, you can't really afford to play around their cooldowns. The enemy is going to constantly be fighting, and you're going to be constantly have to fight them back. A few other heroes that could potentially gain some traction in the new patch and start to get popular are heroes like Viper, which has been coming back this patch. He's been getting picked quite a lot. Razor might come back in this meta, especially with all the early game aggression, but right now Viper's kind of taken his place. Brewmaster, DK is starting to get played a lot more with the buffs to his Dragon Blood. He's really tanky and has a lot of regen. Brewmaster is starting to get picked a little bit more in my pub. Sand King with the new Aether Lens item. Sand King is really strong with that item. He's getting picked a lot more. Timbersaw, that's a hero who hasn't really been that good for very long. He's starting to gain a lot of traction with all the strength melee tanky heroes running around that Timbersaw just absolutely just destroys. And now that Doom has fallen out of the meta, Timbersaw is actually able to cast his spells in team fights. So he's coming back. Ursa has been getting picked a lot more lately. He's really good at early game fights. He's pretty tanky. He's really good at securing Roshan. I think Lycan, uh, with the new Iron Talon ability and the buffs to jungling, Lycan is probably going to be one of the stronger carries this patch, I think, because he's decent at early game fighting, he's really fast, he's pretty tanky, and he can take Roche really easily, which, in a meta a lot about early game fighting, taking Roche is really important, and Lycan is good at both of those things. So, with this new patch, they've pretty heavily buffed jungling, especially in the early game, and although a lot of people have been seeming to think jungling is going to make a comeback as a sorts, like with Chen and Enchantress buffs and Enigma buffs, with the meta right now being so fast-paced and so aggressive, and mids being able to flash farm the jungle so easily, I don't think there's room for a jungler on a team. Like, between the carry and the mid, farming the jungle in between creep waves in the early game, and potential support stacking jungle and clearing it, especially with supports you can like Keeper of the Light or Shadow Demon. 
there's just no room for a jungler in this meta. And with all the early regression, like, although the, it's a new patch and the meta is changing, the old duo offlane, two strength heroes is still good. It's not, it wasn't nerfed at all. Like, heroes like, like duo offlanes like Slardar, Tusk are still just as prevalent as they were before. And if you pick a jungler into that, you're going to get run over. So I, although I think jungling was buffed and it with a few more buffs, it could be viable. If you pick a jungler in this patch, I think you're just going to get run over. So thank you for watching this video, uh, hopefully you like it. If this is received well, hopefully we'll be able to do more every few weeks to just kind of keep you updated on what heroes are good and what the meta is like. Uh, thank you all for watching. If you have any questions or criticisms, feel free to post them in the comments below. Uh, thank you. Goodbye.